CPD, so compulsory professional development. Guys, we've had compulsory professional development in the real estate industry since September 2003, when the last major piece of legislation was changed for our industry. Now, in those 17 years that we've already been doing CPD, we've got very used to the to a rhythm of how that happens. It's that rhythm is over. So let me try and simplify this as much as I can because it all changed with the new legislation which commenced on the 23rd of March. So first comment, your CPD is not, and I repeat not, your CPD is not connected with your, your license renewal date. Your renewal date has not changed. If you always renew in October, then you'll renew in October. If you always renew in July, then you'll renew in July. You will get the normal email and the normal text from Fair Trading saying, Oi, it's time to renew. And you will do as you're told and you will renew. And you won't let it lapse, otherwise you'll be coming to me, paying me money to get you the new qualification, to work with you to get the new qualification. Whilst I'm happy to take your money, you don't need to go down that process. Renew your license and stay away from that. So just remember to renew. Your CPD, on the other hand, has now moved into a CPD year. The CPD year is 23rd of March every year to 22nd of March the following year. So we are currently in the CPD year of the 23rd of March 2020 to the 22nd of March 2021. You need to complete all of your CPD requirements during the CPD year. So the CPD year we're current, currently in, we need to do whatever our CPD requirement is based on the type of license or certificate of registration that we hold. I'll get to that in a minute. Second comment, CPD is no longer about points. So there's no 12 points, there's no carryover of 11 points, there's none of that. It is all about hours. It's three hours of compulsory, three hours of elective, three hours of elective business, depending on your, your categories. Okay, so let's have a look at that. If you're a class one or a class two real estate agent or a strata manager, you need to do six hours of CPD in this current CPD year. The three hours of compulsory has three set topics set by Fair Trading. They are the new reforms, the rules of conduct, because we've had changes there with the new reforms, and risk management from an occupancy perspective. Okay, there's three hours. Every class one agent for real estate, stock and station and strata must do that. Every class two agent must do the same for real estate, stock and station and strata must do those three hours compulsory. Then there's a the three hours elective. Again, linked to best business practices and fair trading have put some guidelines around this. Uh, the three hours elective, if you are a real estate, a class one or a class two real estate or strata manager, you must do three hours of elective. If you are just a class one or a class two stock and station agent and you hold no other category of license, you just need to do the compulsory. If you hold dual licenses, then you will need to do the elective hours as well. Uh, if, if you need clarification of that, it's all on our, it's all on our website. So what that says for class one agents, for class two agents, you need to do for, as I said, real estate and strata, three hours of compulsory, three hours of elective. For class one or class two stock and station, just the three hours of compulsory. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. With the current health crisis, of course, and you know, I've talked about that. I, don't think, I think we're all talking about it. Uh, we're offering the compulsory and the elective CPD via online, our online student portal and via interactive webinars. Now you can see all of the offerings on our website. We're offering webinars, you know, weekly or more frequently for our in-house clients. Um, obviously we'll return to our, our favourite face-to-face offerings uh, throughout both the metropolitan and the regional New South Wales as soon as we're able to. So as soon as we're not social distancing, as soon as you know everything starts to come back to normal, we will start running face-to-face -face classes. And obviously we will tell you about that. Now for assistant agents, so the old certificate of registration holders, you do not do the compulsory three hours or the elective three hours. Your CPD is different. You are different from class one and class two licensed agents because you are not licensed. So for certificate of registration holders, what you need to do is complete your three units 
three of your national units of competency working towards your license. So if that's a real estate license or a stock and station license, that's a certificate for in uh, real estate practice. If it's a strata license, it's a certificate for in strata community management. So you need to work towards that. You've got four years to get there. Best way I can say in, in today's current financial uh, situation is to use government funding to help you go down that path. Uh, we've got a few different buckets of government funding. We've got trainees, probably not relevant. People aren't hiring new people. We've got uh, government funding for experienced agents. So obviously there is a there is a fee for that, which you know we can taper out over the length of your training. Uh, we can, and also with recognition of prior learning, whatever the government set fee is for whatever you're doing, it comes down with every bit of recognition of prior learning that you get. There's also government funding available for people who are over 45. So guys, there's got to be a government bucket of money there that will help you get your training. So if you're an assistant agent, get on with it. You've got to get three units finished by March 22 next year. So pretty easy on that one. Use your time now when you perhaps aren't as busy as you have usually been to commence your license training, get it out of the way, access government funding and get on with it. There is some roller rollover for some CPD. I've almost finished. It's a one-off opportunity. It's never to be repeated. I'm using the words of fair trading here. Uh, this is just for this first CPD year. If you have done some CPD after your last renewal and before your the reforms came in on the 23rd of March, so you didn't have to use your CPD, so you did your four hours of CPD and got your 12 points, you can actually roll that over. But the only thing you can put it against is your three hours of elective. Everybody's doing the compulsory. Okay, no way out of it. If you're licensed, you're doing the compulsory. If you've done some CPD, and honestly, if you need to, if you need to clarify that, give us a call, talk to one of the staff, they'll look at your renewal dates, they'll look at when you did your CPD, and they'll give you the advice on which way you need to go. But if you've done it, and you haven't had to use it for a renewal, then you can roll that for this first year only. From 2020, March 2021 onwards, no rollover off the table.